You'd be surprised how many people tell me they move into a new house and never knew that they had an avocado tree until one day they walked out back and found an avocado. So a lot of times, the first thing they do is go running out, pick a bunch of avocados, and wait for them to soften. When they take a bite, the fruit doesn't taste very good. Or in other cases, the fruit might taste delicious. And that's because different avocado varieties ripen at different times of year. You can't just come out here and look at this like it's a tomato in your vegetable garden and say, well, that was green yesterday, but it's pretty darn orange today. I think I'm gonna pick it. You can't smell it. You can't squeeze it. There's no way to tell by examining if your fruit is ready to pick or not. It 100% depends on the variety. But the good news is, once you determine your variety and you determine when you can start picking, you can leave avocados on the tree anywhere from 45 to 90 days after their picking date, which is great because how many times have you planted tomatoes and they're green, 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 and then they're all ripe at once and you can't possibly eat them all. Well, with avocados, you can just go out every day and pick the amount you want. And if you plant a mix of early, mid, and late season varieties, you can have fresh avocados growing in your backyard from May through February. This variety, for example, is called a Pollock, and it's a summer variety or a mid-season variety. I can pick this today and eat it. On the other hand, this one is a Choquette. Look, it's very different. You have pear-shaped and dark, dull skin versus a shiny, light green skin, and it's egg-shaped. This choquette, we don't pick until the end of September or even early October. If you were to pick this guy right now and let it ripen on your counter, it probably would taste sour. To most people, an avocado is an avocado. And they're always surprised when I explain that there's up to a thousand named varieties of avocado. This one is a pollock. Look at it, it's nice and smooth and pear-shaped. Over here, I have an aru. Now look at these guys. I don't even know what the heck these ones are. This tree grows the Simmons variety, which is also light green and somewhat pear-shaped, but has a much wider neck. This one here is a seedling variety. It's unnamed, but it grew from a seedling and tastes delicious. And then here we are, back to this choquette that I'm not gonna pick because it's too early. So look at the difference in what a, the, the size, the color, the texture, and the shape. And this is just one, two, three, four, five, six varieties. Six of up to a thousand named varieties. And the only way for you to know when you can pick your avocados is for you to know what variety you have. It might be as easy as confirming that whoever told you what it was is true, or you may have no clue and have to look at the characteristics of your individual fruit to determine its variety. So the first thing you wanna look at is shape. Is it pear-shaped? Is it egg-shaped? Is it round? Next is color, light green dark green. The popular Haas, which we don't grow here, are very dark green to even black. There are some that have purple skin and some that even have red skin. Another consideration, the skin itself, is it smooth or is it bumpy? Is the skin thin and papery? Or is it thick and more like a husk. Is it prone to scarring or does it stay relatively clean? Another identifying characteristic is to shake it and listen. Is the seed attached, in which case you won't hear it jiggling around, or is it a detached seed, in which case you will hear it jiggle? This one happens to be attached. Then you just gotta go on to Google Images and start scrolling for an avocado that looks like it might be your variety. So once you think you've found a match and you think you've identified your fruit, then you Google that particular fruit and it'll tell you what month to start picking. If you're someone who grew your tree from seed 
In other words, the tree was never grafted. You ate a piece of fruit and you planted the seed and now it's 10 or 12 years later and you're starting get, to get fruit. The only way you'll know when to pick is by doing the testing method. Because when you grow a tree from seed, you have no idea what the variety is gonna be. You have no idea what its characteristics are. So the first year it gives you fruit, you'll have to pick some toward the end of May. If it softens and tastes good, then you know it's an early season. If not, wait till late June, early July and repeat. And keep doing that month after month after month until you find yourself with a good tasting avocado. And then write down the month that you picked it in and you'll know year after year after year, that's when you go out and pick your fruit. Now, if you have multiple trees and you need to do that with multiple varieties, then make sure you make a little note. I picked this tree starting in July, but I don't pick this tree starting till October. Or you may have an interesting tree like this one that grows the Aru variety on one side. These little round guys on the other. This tree actually grows two varieties of avocado. And if you look here, the Aru branch goes that way, whereas these little guys break off from here. But both sets of branches are above the graft point, which means that someone intended for this tree to grow two varieties. They took a clipping from an Aru tree, they took a clipping from the tree that grew these little round guys, spliced it into this trunk when it was a baby tree, and this tree grew to give two varieties of avocado. My point being that just because you solve for one variety in your backyard, it might be different for another. So in summary, picking time has nothing to do with examining the fruit on the tree and everything to do with your fruit's variety. So your steps are identify the variety, then Google that variety and determine which month you begin picking. If you are unable to identify the variety or you've grown your tree from seed, then you're gonna have to test it yourself by picking one fruit per month until you land on the right month. And if you'd rather forget about all that, leave it to the professionals, buy yourself a box of these fruit at guacfarm.com. G-U-A-C-F-A-R-M.com. We've got our early season variety starting in June, our mid seasons right now in late summer, and in another month, the late seasons start picking. And if you don't like avocados, get yourself one of these cool shirts. Tommy, how many pounds did I say we have to pick today? 170. That's a lot of work. I'm gonna get to picking these fruit. While I do that, you go to guacfarm.com and I'll see you on the next video.